Hey guys, I'm Abhi and back again with another video. This time it's about Android 11 features and I'll be also sharing some cool tips and tricks about this Pixel 4a. So if you end up liking what you see on my channel, then a sub will be fantastic. So don't forget to do that. Now let's get started with the video. As you know that Android is already a very sophisticated or we can say very matured uh, OS. So with new updates, we cannot expect very significant UI changes. But now as um, a stock Android user, now we have this option styles. Okay. Now if you go there, you will have these predefined uh, styles that you can try. Now another thing that you can do here, if you go to custom, now you can select these four fonts. Now you can select any of these one. Okay. Now next you have these icon shapes. Okay. The styles are here. Okay, you can select here as well. Then next, there you will have this color options. Suppose you have selected this one, then you can have the icon shapes. Okay, suppose I like this one, teardrops. So your own custom, you know, style is ready. Okay, so this is how you can create your own styles and you can apply. Okay, so this is one thing which was missing in the previous update. Now, it is also very limited, but yes, we have this now. Okay, so the very first thing that you will observe the style. The next change is notification. Now the notifications are sorted in three categories automatically. Let me show you this. First one is conversation. Here you will get all the notification from your messaging apps like WhatsApp and uh, you know FB Messenger. And then you will have this uh, you know the default uh, notification section. At the bottom we have this silent notification okay so the notifications are sorted in three different categories now at the bottom again here you will get this option history there you will get the log of all your notifications so this is something that you can check if you have missed out any notification right how to do it simply go to settings and then apps and notifications notifications then this one history turn this on now another thing that i have found this one bubbles Okay, but this is not working on my device. Even I tried it on, you know, using this WhatsApp and default message app, but still not working. And if it is working on your device, let me know in the comments. So notifications are now sorted properly. Now another thing that you can do here, you can reply on the go here. Okay, so you can type and reply. So this is something I can say a good addition. Now we have better controls over app permissions. Now what we can do, we can give access as and when we need it. For example, suppose this is WhatsApp go to app info then permissions now you can see that i have given access to camera contacts and files now suppose camera what i can do now allow only while using the app that means the app will have access to my camera only when i'm using the app or i can set this one as well ask every time that means what whenever i launch the app and i want to use camera the app will ask for the permission so this can be a bit annoying so it is better to go for this one allow only while using the app now another thing that you can do, this is a really good thing, remove permission if app isn't used. That means what? Suppose if you're not using any particular app for a few months, then the permissions will be restricted or disabled automatically. This one is really helpful because sometimes what happens that we install certain apps and we don't use it actually and we forget that, you know, the app is having access to our camera, to contacts and files. So this one is a really good thing. Okay, so set this one and your privacy will be protected. Now let's talk about the media controls and I believe this one is the most uh, interesting feature which has been added with Android 11. Let me show you this. Now if I'm playing any song on Spotify or Amazon Prime Music, I can have the controls over here. Okay, I can switch between the two apps and I can play or pause the song and if I scroll again like this, I have better controls. Okay, now another thing that can be done here. Now let me show you this. Suppose this is Spotify. If you tap here, now you can see that you have this option to select on which device you want to play the song. If you are connected to a smart TV or a smart speaker, now you can switch between the speakers as well. This can be done. So this is a really good feature. Now how to enable this? Let me show you this. Go to settings. Okay. Where is settings? Here. Okay. Then we have the sound and then we have this option media. Okay, now if you turn this on, it will actually hide the media controls. So what do you have to do? Simply turn this off. Okay, so that will show you the media controls above your notifications. So this is one thing that I have found really interesting. Now, another thing that you can do, 
uh, if you have connected your device to other smart devices like Bluetooth speaker or any smart TV, then what you can do, you can check on the now playing list. Let me show you this. Go to sound again, okay, and then go to advanced. There you have this option now playing, okay. So what it will show, it will show you the songs which has been played or is being played by other devices in the same environment. Now you can see that now playing this one, somebody told me by killers, okay. Now the whole log will be here and you can add this to your screen as well. Let me show you this here, okay. And you can play, tap and play using any particular app or you can search on Google on YouTube as well. So this one is a really good addition according to me. Now you can control your smart devices from the power menu option. Let me show you this. If you press and hold the power button, you will get these buttons here. All the smart devices that you have connected to your smartphone, you know, the, in the same environment, you will have the controls here. Suppose I have this smart TV, the Android smart TV. Now I can do one thing. I can tap here. I can increase the volume. I can play and pause the music. Okay. And I can stop casting as well. Okay. So this is how you can control your smart device. Like I have this smart TV. If you have the smart bulb, smart AC, other smart Bluetooth speakers, you can have the controls here. Now, how to enable this feature? You have to go to settings. Okay. And then system. And there you have this gesture. Surprisingly, this option is under gesture. I don't know why. Okay, power menu and then turn this on. That's it. Now let's talk about one feature that the stock Android users, they have been waiting for. Yes, this is about the screen recorder and it is finally there with the stock Android 11 update. Now you can see that, yeah, this is the default app. And the good news is that you can record both device audio and microphone that means you can use microphone to record external audio as well so like this one that's it and you can you know enable the touch on screen animation as well start okay and it will start recording let me show you this i'm speaking now so it should record the voice okay using the microphone okay and if you want to stop tap here that's done now let's play this one. I'm speaking now, so I should record the voice okay. okay, using the microphone. So you can see that it is working really fine and I have checked it. It also records the internal audio as well. So the wait is over for the screen recorder. This change is in the way we take screenshots and there are further additions as well. Let me show you this. Suppose this is Chrome. Now, if I want to take the screenshot of this window, what I have to do, just simply slide up like this and hold for the preview and you will have these options here, screenshot and select. Let me first start with the screenshot, tap here and you will have the screenshot like this. You can also edit the screenshot here and you can save, okay, whatever you want to do. Now, apart from it, what you can do, suppose again, yeah, now you have this addition here select so what you can do you can select all the text here okay now we used to you know do this you know by manually selecting right but the addition is that now you can select on the settings menu as well okay let me show you this suppose this is the screenshot and then select so you can select the text over here as well so this was not there with the previous updates okay so this is a really new feature that has come with android 11. now let's talk about one minor addition here this is the app suggestions here you can see that at this uh, bottom row uh, the apps will be suggested now how does it work let me show you this suppose if i have opened this one let me show you this uh, any app okay now if i open this and close it this will be shifted here okay like this right Again, if I open any other app, suppose uh, this is the clock app, okay? Now, if I close, this will be here. So for the time being, it will be shown here. So you can go back there again. So you don't have to search for the app. So this is also one really a good feature that has been added. Now let's talk about some of the features which are not new, but have improved with Android 11. First of all, let's talk about one accessibility feature that is voice access. You just have to install the voice access app from play store and after that what you have to do go to settings okay 
settings then you have this option accessibility there you will have this option voice access turn this on after that what you can do you can actually control the device using your voice let me show you this hey google voice access open chrome scroll down scroll down go home open photos scroll down show numbers 6 7 14 5 send 4 6 yeah so this is how you can control the device go home okay you can also send messages using this feature but this is a bit slow but it is not for you know normal guys like you know those who are having any kind of you know physical disabilities for them it is you know but it is actually really effective according to me so this one is a really good addition now let's talk about another one okay uh, that is actually the recorder and this can be used uh, by anyone actually if you are in need what do you have to do suppose let me show this uh, where it is recorder now this one is a really really good uh, you know uh, option i can say that if you want to record something you can simply record here yeah? but along with it you can also create the transcript okay you can transcribe yeah that's really good and you can see that how well it can actually capture and transcribe you know it's really amazing you know you can see whatever i'm saying it is actually typed in in real time yeah that's really great i can say so whenever you are attending any kind of lecture or any meetings and you don't want to type you know and you can record it and you can have the transcription as well using this app you can see that it's really really good okay so this is really good according to me if you want to use it okay now uh, let's talk about something which is not that uh, good okay it has been added but it is not th that good uh, it is with the Android 11 update let me show this if you go to system now gesture okay now you have this option flip camera for selfie if you turn this on uh, what you can do let me show you this suppose this is the camera now this is the rear camera now if I flip like this okay uh, it is not working right you have to you know joke it very you know <laughs> quick okay so this is not that uh, well optimized I can say but yes it is there okay so it is not that good so that's it guys in this video and I have tried to cover all the key features that have come with Android 11 and some of the you know key tips and tricks while using this uh, Pixel 4a and if you have come across anything which is new or if I have missed out anything which is really key or important let me know in the comments and if you end up liking my videos then do subscribe and like and share guys so that we can build our channel and we have more videos yeah so do subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments so till the next video guys cheers